what's up guys it's will here back again and i just woke up to some very exciting news that i wanted to break down for everyone and that is the j and d studios the cogent works one six scale premium collectible figure line and of course they have teased the heath ledger joker figure once again the figure that everyone needs but not the one it needs right now maybe i guess we'll find out guys we're going to break down this uh this teaser here this announcement but before we do that make sure to click the like button down below the subscribe button to this channel and of course the notification bell so you're notified when content goes live on the channel that said let's waste no more time and jump into the video and start breaking things down. JD posted a one minute and 53 second video, Cogent Works by JD Studios. Their production quality is always top tier with their statues. I would assume one six scale to be no different. So you can see here right now, they have a silicone head sculpt. This is definitely something that was theorized by a lot of different collectors. But for a while, I think we were thinking that they were not going to do that. We were thinking, why would they go silicone in one six scale? It's such a small scale. Is that really necessary? Is it going to last? Is it going to hold up over time? Well, apparently JD feels strongly enough that it is going to and that they are going to do that so that said you can see here the neck actually articulates uh there is no visible joint you can see it's a patent silicone replication technology uh, a lot of big fancy words being thrown at you there but you can see that the neck articulates and there is no visible neck seam everything is underneath under the silicone and uh and that that's pretty cool i mean i do think that's a pretty cool thing i think a lot of collectors are going to have some trepidation about the longevity of such technology but i guess over time we will find out whether that will work and you can see here uh, they have a magnetic system. This was actually teased by Inart at one point saying that they were gonna do something like this. I think Pennywise was on the table for this, but they couldn't quite get the technology to function the way they were hoping. It's a magnet where you can move the eyes. You put the magnet in front of the eyes and the eyes will sort of move to the location that you wish based on how you adjust the magnet. And um, I think J&D is doing something similar. Again, you can see here the neck articulates and moves all around with the silicone technology. Again, we don't know the longevity of that. Like, you remember, people always think about the silicone bodies from Hot Toys and, and Fison and stuff like that. As great quality as those are, if you bend them long enough or leave them articulated long enough, they will eventually crack. And we don't know with the silicone what's going to happen. Maybe it's going to be durable. Maybe not. Uh, I am trying to get an interview with J&D, but it's not proving fruitful right now. So we'll find out at some point, right? Um, so that's pretty cool invisible jointless figures uh, i think this is pretty great so uh I, again this is technology for sure that is pretty new to one six in terms of licensed companies producing mass produced figures and I'm excited about this. I mean, I think this is innovation and it could push other companies to do something similar and offer similar, similar quality options if this really takes off. We don't really get a great look at the Joker head sculpt here. They give us a lot of a teasing. They give us a lot of, I guess, foreplay for lack of a better term. So this is something that you can see the head sculpt does look pretty good. It does look a little bit different than the statue version, which originally we were thinking it was not, but I think it might be a little bit different. Um, the, yeah, you can see here, there's a good look at the head sculpt. This one does look different. That head sculpt does look pretty damn good. I think maybe they have updated the statue head sculpt. This one does look better, although we're not seeing the full thing yet. And we don't have a full reveal yet. This is just a teaser announcement thing like that. So we don't have a joker price. We don't have sort of uh, the you know, the accessories and stuff like that. You can see this is really interesting. We talked about the articulated hands on one of the live streams recently, where you can adjust the wrist, you can move each individual finger and everything is jointless. So visible in terms of visible joints. So all the fingers you can see here are adjustable. You can put him in any pose that you would like. And uh, that silicone sort of hand there is gonna do the work. And you can see they got glass eyes. Uh, this again, like, uh, I'm wondering, like, again, these are going to be very expensive. There's no question about it. But I'm wondering, do collectors really need glass eyes? Is this, an, is this a necessary innovation? Only time will tell. I think there's an argument to be made that maybe they do, but maybe it'll be a, a game changer and we're just, I'm not able to quite see the future yet and the innovation, but it is certainly an innovation as far as, again, licensed sort of mass uh, produced figures. So I, I do think this is exciting. Uh, the glass size thing is going to uh, in inherently add more realism, but is that going to be something that collectors are going to want to pay for? I think so. I think you could market that well enough to, to get people to do it, but um, I'm interested to see whether that these types of innovations are going to be truly noticeable to the degree that you're willing to pay $800 for a figure. Only time will tell. So motion controlled magnetic eyes. Again, I think that's pretty cool. So it's in preparation. I know NR teased this and marketed this at 1.2, but never quite showed the video or anything like that. So I think that's pretty cool. The rooted hair one by one, now that we've seen NR and maybe the artisan figures, depending upon your interpretation, uh, this is not necessarily a crazy thing. It's a hard thing to do, but we have seen this from other companies and I think JND is gonna do a good job at this. They appear to do really good jobs with, um, do good jobs with their statues. So I think they'll do well with this one. So 
that said, guys, I mean, I think there's a lot to digest here. And it's so it's so difficult to say. I mean, there's definitely going to be discussions at some point about which is the best Joker to have. Do you want to have in art? Do you want to have a Hot Toys Artisan? Do you want to have the j and Studios Cogent Works version? That's certainly going to be a discussion. But right now, it's, it's impossible to say just because uh, we don't have any information besides this product exists, right? So once we have more detailed information about sort of what the product offers and what the pricing is going to be and, and the availability and things like that, maybe we can make more of a judgment and head towards those conversations. But for now, I mean, look, like I ran a poll recently on the channel and I asked people, are you excited to buy this Joker figure? And I think it was 91% of people said no. So maybe once they see this type of announcement and they see the innovations and the sort of uh, development of, and progression of how the technology has changed, maybe their minds can be changed. But again, that's going to be something that's highly dependent upon what the price is going to be for these figures. This is going to be an expensive figure. There's no doubt about it. And looking at this video, you can clearly tell that this is going to be more expensive than Inart. Um, no doubt about it. I think J&D has always marketed and, uh, you know, advertise their product as a premium product as top tier top of the line and they've priced as such and i don't think that's going to change with one six scale i think they're going to price themselves as the top dog because they view themselves as the top dog they view themselves as sort of what's the top car like a fucking i don't know tesla like i don't know what whatever the top car is that's what they view themselves are as in terms of collecting so we're going to find out um if, if that's a practical thing and if collectors will buy into that look i mean people bought into in art right and i i think they're always willing to adjust and adapt and the quality is you know it's pretty remarkable it looks like so i guess we'll find out over time how people are willing to spend their money but for now i think this is a very exciting thing and i'm interested to see more for sure you know we got the jointless neck we got you know uh the, the articulated fingers uh the glass eyes the silicone head sculpt the rooted hair this is certainly a premium product right and and if premium is what you're looking for then i think this could definitely be right up your alley it just again like what are what what is the budget of most collectors and are they going to be willing and are they jokered out already because we a lot of us have the in art versions uh or you're trying to get the hot toys versions right hot toys sculpted hot toys artisan there are certainly joker options out there and it is an interesting choice to go, go with joker first but i guess they were just like fuck it we've been working on this for a while the joker's our thing and uh we don't care that the market's already been tapped we're going to tap it again so that's what they're doing so i'm interested to see i mean i like the eye maneuvering thing with the mag magnets i think that's pretty cool um only time will tell how this is going to play out again we don't, also don't know about aftercare we don't know if this is going to be licensed in the states or not i would assume probably not so since hot toys has that so uh this is probably another situation where you pick one up from kit or someone else like that i think that's probably what's going to happen and kit's always great about the aftercare and great customer service uh some other companies you're always rolling the dice a little bit there are other good options as out there as well but um you know i, I think overall this is going to be something that you're going to have to pick up to in similar uh methods to how you do in art so i don't know you guys are gonna have to let me know what you think I think, again, I'm pretty excited. I think this is cool, and, and I really want to hear the community's thoughts on this, and this will be something that I think we discuss a lot more in recent days, uh, coming days, especially on the live stream on Friday, so make sure to check out that this Friday at 5.15 p.m. Eastern with Kiko and I, um, and a special guest, I'm sure, but so for now, I mean, I, I think this is really cool. I'm glad that J&D is posting this type of information. Uh, I'm really interested to see an actual product listing. I want to see J&D post something where we know what it's going to cost, what it comes with, what the details of everything are. I saw on one of the videos, one of the J&D uh, higher ups was posting the base where the base is like sort of interchangeable. You can change the top of the base to uh, fit a specific scene that you're going for in your display. I'm pretty sure that's what he was showing. But again, I don't speak other languages. I only speak English. So for me, I guess we're going to have to wait and see. But that's what I was thinking was happening. So we'll find out. So anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. Make sure to click the like button, subscribe button, and notification bell down below. I appreciate the support as always. And uh, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out. See you later. Bye. Bye. See you. Bye. How do I end this? I got to get out of here. Bye. I got to go to work.